Hi, my name is Kate and welcome to my channel. This is my book review with spoiler from Daniel Laurie from her series, the main series, The Swedish Oblivion. This is a story about Elena and Nico. Once again, I purchased this and this is the first book that I've read from Laurie because of TikTok hype. But, oh my god, I bought the set again, Whisper Sing, so the Kindle and Audible. And I never learned, I'm so naive and gullible. I never learned. I bought this because of TikTok hype, okay? When I went to Goodread, oh my god, the review is awful. And I read this. Just, okay, there will be spoiler. Let me get a grip of myself. Oh my god. This is Mafia, arranged marriage, actually marriage by convenience, a little bit of enemies to lovers, but the main trope is miscommunication. And it was today, I realized there's a trope like that, and I realized that pregnancy trope wasn't my most hated, but instead it's communication, this one. It started with Adriana, the younger sister of Elena, the main female lead, is about to marry Don Nicolas Russo. So this is an arranged marriage and partnership of mafia between Italian and Cosa Nostra. So the Abelli, Abelli family and the Russo family. When I read this book, I knew I will never like it because there are many Italian words that I have to pause and translate. Second, if you are going to buy this book with Audible or Whisper Sing, maybe it's just me, but the female voice, the Elena, she didn't give me the vibe that she is Elena because I always check Pinterest how the characters look like. So with their voice, I can imagine them with their faces because I'm a visual learner, so I can... Oh, whatever. That, that's not the point. The point is, the voice on the audible wasn't nice. It was weird AF, annoying. She didn't give me the vibe that Elena is the most beautiful person in Cosa Nostra or in the mafia world of this book. But anyways... <sighs> How will I start this? I nearly DNF it because of the communication, but I feel bad for my money, so I read it. The story rating is two, two stars only. The spice is also two. And for the first time in my reading history, I've never disliked a female lead so much than Elena Abelli. And the people that I like in here is Nona and Adriana, just because they are funny and unbothered queens. So let's begin the story. Adriana is engaged to Nicholas Russo. On the church, Nicholas met Elena. They glared to each other, and from that on, there is some spark or chemistry between them. When they had their first family dinner, getting to know each other because it's an arranged marriage between mafia, Italian mafias. Tony, the brother of Elena, had some spark with the cousin, not spark, like fight, verbal fight with the cousin of Nicholas. And then he took Elena, put a toy on her head and out of nowhere, Nicholas shoot the guy near to Elena. The father of Elena got furious and said, sit down everybody, let's finish this lunch. The second meeting, they went ahead and had lunch again, but this time Christian Alistair, a dirty FBI, was there. And because Nicholas was very jealous, she pushed Elena to the pool and that's where you see that he talk edit or hype that Elena is being pushed in the pool however during all this time there is already attraction between the two of them Nico didn't have a choice but to get Adriana because Elena's father tricked Nico that her his 
firstborn daughter is not suited for the wedding until we found out to the part like almost near end part that he actually set up Elena to Oscar Perez who is a Colombian cartel because he's a good and then Elena know this is another reason why I nearly did it and Elena knowing damn well that her sister Adriana is engaged to Nicholas she is still seducing Nico such as welcoming her with a bikini with bikini going in a pool with their skimpy bikini everything she has a big crush on Nicholas and she was seducing her and I'm like mm -mm, red flag family and top of that during their family lunch she also tried to use actually use Christian Alistair to make Nicholas jealous and to get rid of her feelings for Nicholas because now she's starting to get the grip that okay in two weeks my sister and Nicholas is gonna get married however there was a plot twist when they were having a lunch people from the car shoot them while they're lunch and in the middle of chaos her sister Adriana said I am pregnant which means she can no longer marry Nico and Nico Adon obviously feel insulted because he was disrespected from their contract he was promised to an arranged marriage but the girl got pregnant so he went to the office and said um what will happen now her dad Elena's dad said you cannot get Elena because she is pregnant as she is not suitable and engaged to Oscar and I know from the beginning you already like her I cannot tell you why Nico ended with the that's too much spoilers so Nico killed Oscar the guy that is engaged to Elena and then they get engaged together and because Nikolai now likes Elena but is in denial he took her to her house despite not yet married they live together and the reason being is first because six months ago elena escaped gave her b card to a stranger and he, she had the plastic ring as a promise to herself but all this time nico thought that or everyone else thought that she was engaged because she was in love because of the plastic ring that she has that only cost 50 cents so basically Elena was not telling anything she was at first attracted to Nico but now that she is engaged she felt like she's just convenience she's just a second choice she has so many insecurities miscommunication and all and when Nico took her to her house she actually met Isabella the cleaner of the house she was mad she left the house left her phone went to her family home nico got mad and then nico arrived to the family home where again the abella family and the russo family had like this gun solo am i allowed to say that <laughs> youtube don't plug me well they have this and they were about to like and alive each other start the rivalry for good and like eliminate the contract of orange marriage but the father of elena said elena go to your room and nico said come here and because she doesn't want to have a war and because she has feelings for nico she listened to nico and her her father was mad and after that instead of getting married two weeks ahead they got married immediately in a supreme court where elena was actually Mm, like she was captured but the truth is she liked Nico but she was very inconsistent and communication is just overall extremely bad and after that she stole two million from Nico escape and then she went out with Se Sebastian he is the younger brother of Oscar and Nico got mad but basically there's a plot twist with that I feel bad for Sebastian because once again she was using him and after that they got married they 
like no after that incident they talk Nico was furious now she started to confess her feelings to Nico and I was like girl you're doing so much chaos and when Nico reacts you get mad but after that they meet spice in the penthouse and then they get married the end this like this is a very long miscommunication unnecessary drama dragging book I cannot believe it it's, it was very very it was very very long so just imagine this in audible well in whisper sing i had the speed at 1.25 still it took it 12 hours i read this for like two to three days because it was very long i had a terrible headache with the miscommunication with all the chaos that she's doing with her not communicating anything and then she got mad when Nico reacts to what she's doing. I mean, like, girl, you stole from him 250 million. You know that she's, he is very jealous of the plastic ring because he thought that you were in love with someone else. And you get mad. I'm like, I swear, I've never had a headache and dislike a female lead so hard than Elena Abelli. Also, I didn't like how she was like, Nico saved you from a man whom your father sold you to who actually ends up hurting women and Nico was very very nice because at first he was starting a fight with Tony the brother of Elena to like purge from her from his sexual frustration from Elena but at the end they get friends so they friend so Tony and Nico become friends and the father of Elena actually betrayed Nico twice so I didn't like the father and the daughter <clears throat> excuse me now like obviously one of my like is Nico and Gianna Nico is a very gentle man he did not violate Elena he respected her and even Adriana I also like Adriana and Nona, like what I said from the start, and Gianna. Gianna, I just read her, I actually just finished her book. She was very, very nice. And I felt like on this book, she was misjudged. But in the end, she was just taking care of Nico, her stepson. And one more thing. She is, um, Elena is very jealous of Gianna. But overall, yeah, my rating for this is two uh, spices too. The only thing that I like is Nico. He's very, very sweet and nice. I don't know how Nico managed it despite all the chaos and the miscommunication and how um, Elena treated her. Because to me, what Elena did to her sister, knowing that they're engaged, was like cheating. And then how she treated Nico after they are engaged is very red flag because she liked Nico but when they got engaged she was fuming mad at Nico I'm like girl get your cape do I recommend this book no save your money save your time save your energy no do not buy this book maybe it's me but if you don't believe me just go and read Goodreads review other than that, thank you very much for the like. Please do subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.